Majisk, the popular open source super user solution for Android, has received a new update this week that brings the version up to 25.2. This update focuses mostly on transitioning the logging infrastructure over to the Rust programming language, but also fixes some annoying bugs as well. It was back in the first half of last year when John Wu began working on adding the memory managed programming language into Majisk. This has the added benefit of reducing, if not eliminating, the memory leaks and buffer overflow errors when compa compared to C++, which is what most of Majisk's low-level components are written in. With this release, all of the logs that Majisk creates is now handled in, by Rust. We're also seeing a new change in this update that allows Majisk to detect data encryption better than it was able to do before. And lastly, the main developer of Majisk confirms that version 25.2 of Majisk also squashes some important bugs that have been reported. This includes an issue when stub CPIO is used a bug for rebooting to recovery when CPIO is used. And lastly, it fixes the SE policy rules symlink for devices that are using the root FS file system. Now with this new version of Majisk out, we can manually update our installed version by first going into the Majisk application and if you do not see an update button right here, you can go ahead and swipe it away from your memory and open up Majisk so that it can manually check again. Once we see this update button is there, we're gonna go ahead and tap it so that we can first update the application for Majisk. This used to be called the Majisk Manager, but now it is just the Majisk application. And once we have updated the Majisk application to version 25.2, then we get an update button for the actual Majisk binaries. And we can update the Majisk binaries by again tapping on the update button. And at least for this device, we're just going to do a direct install. And then we're going to let Majisk update itself. You may have some extra options there, especially if you're using a Samsung device. So you're gonna to wanna to follow the same steps you did initially when you patched your AP file. Except again, we're going to do the direct install method so that the binary itself can be updated. Once all of that happens, you're gonna see this blue reboot, reboot button down at the bottom. We're gonna tap it and then let the device restart. And once everything boots back up, We can go and open up Majisk so that we can check to make sure that the update button is no longer there. We then check to see which version of Majisk is currently installed. We're looking for 25.2 as of now, that is the latest version. And we can even use a root checker app. from the Play Store to verify that we still have root access on our device. So 
So that wraps up all of the changes that have been added to the stable version of Majisk 25.2. If you end up running into a boot loop or any other issues, then you're going to want to downgrade back to a working version and then submit a bug report to the Majisk GitHub repository.